Hello, guys. Are they there? Hey, guys, can oh. you hear us? What's up? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. We were trying to figure yeah. out what wine we should drink. I mean, oh. it's like half the hour here. Oh, oh. Wine. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we are at the Fairwinds Brittany Park. This is a retirement community, and it is swanky. Are you sure this is a retirement community? I'm thinking this is a refirement community. <laughs> we walked right in. They welcomed us at the bar. Take a look. They're just hanging out. I said, oh, it's 4 yeah. o'clock. Is it happy hour? They said, it's always happy hour here. Uh, full disclosure, I was here a while ago just to come out, spend some quality time. Uh, with many of the greatest generation, but we've mm -hmm. also been reminded that there's a split. There's also yes. the silent generation being represented. I have never heard of the silent generation before. Have you heard of that? Y you're, you're educating me. I will educate you. Um, but maybe not this break. Maybe next Ooh, coming up. Is that a tease? Up. Yes, is a that deep a tease? tease. Fact, yeah, that coming is. up, we're going to kind of take you behind the scenes and show you some fun that we had here. We introduced some new technology. <laughs> we just kind of got to get some different perspective. Uh, but that also led us to today's question because of one of the things I found out talking to a lot of these fine folks, like a former grocery store employee, <laughs> then went to the UW, went on to become a traveling secretary. You see, I remember all of this. We're going to tell you her story and some of the other stories. But that got us talking about former lives, the many avenues you've taken. We've got retirees here. Mm -hmm. We've got military, you name it. So we wanted to pose that question to all of you. What were you in your former life? Or just your chapters. Like, mm -hmm. tell us about the chapters that you've lived. Mm -hmm. They're pretty 206 448 4545. You know, you can text us. Let us know what were you once upon a time? <laughs> I like that question. Yeah. All right, anyway, we're going to get our wine down, right? Heck yeah, yeah we are. So we're gonna <laughs> We've got to do our part to meet our recycling goals. Let's start drinking. <laughs> All right, have fun. <laughs> Thank you to the fine folks here at the Fairwinds. We've been having a lot of fun. And Michelle, you have snuggled up yeah. to somebody who's getting. Is there a birthday around the corner? Well, this is Ruth, and Ruth is going to turn 100 in September. September. And yes. wow. someone walked by and said, Ruth is my Shiro. That's some pressure. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Well, Ruth, we've been asking what you did in your past lives, or I shouldn't say past lives, but your former chapters. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things that you did? Uh, well, uh, I was an RN in New Jersey. Uh, yeah, and uh, did private duty for a while, and then worked in the children's department. And uh, yeah, wow. that yeah. was my main. So, if Ruth is getting ready to turn 100, something I asked some of your fellow residents here was. Not what your last job was, but do you remember what your first paid job was? Do you, can you remember what maybe the first thing you got paid to do was? Oh golly, um, hmm. yeah, I have to, I have to think a minute. <laughs> uh, I think I babysat. Oh, okay, hey. that's a good one. That's a good one. Way back then. Yeah. yeah. Well, Ruth, it be, I have to beg the question. It begs the question, though. What? Help, has helped you live a long, healthy life, a happy life? Uh, I think I was blessed, really. Uh, I, <laughs> one of the things I told someone, they asked me, what, what do you count for your long life? I said, well, I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I don't carouse. And they said, oh, that lets me out. I, <laughs> I can't compare to that. <laughs> so. Well, thank you. You are our Shiro for the day. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And say hi to your son, Jeff. He's probably watching, oh, hi right? Jeff. <laughs> hi, Jeff. <laughs> hi, Marty. Hi, kids. Don't forget their birthday. <laughs> this is September. Start shopping now. Thank you, All right. Ruth. <laughs> we'll send it back to you guys. Yes, look at us. we got a couple of special guests mm -hmm. here, Michelle. We wanted to talk to a couple of locals uh, who live here at Fairwinds Brittany Park. Yeah couple of retired teachers. Yes, we have Roberta and Sandra here. And I love your story because you found such a wonderful friendship when you moved here. Right. Can you talk about that? It, I think it's pretty rare. And we're so fortunate. Just somehow we hit it off. Here, when new people come in, we'll have somebody that goes to dinner with us so they don't eat, eat alone. Mm -hmm. And so they said, well, we go to dinner with her. Well, you know, it was a pain, but we would. <laughs> and just just clicked and it, we've been going to dinner together ever since well now you're doing exclusive TV interviews together so she's mm -hmm. buttered you up so you probably got to return the favor right yeah, yeah. yeah. well it's, when she invited me to dine with her we just found so many common 
denominators, but it wasn't in our profession at all because she's a home ec teacher and I failed for home ec and, <laughs> and I don't like to cook. When I moved here, I brought one pot, one pan, four dishes, four spoons, and that's all I wanted. Mm -hmm. And she's got enough if I want to borrow something. If I ever get the itch to cook, I can go down and do it. But it was a, a philosophy of life <laughs> and, and teaching that we had, even though our paths may not have even crossed, you know, out in the real world. And it's been a real important friendship. Mm -hmm. Robert is a good friend I can depend on. And it's the kind of friendship where you always know that the person will be there for you if you need somebody, and we can talk honestly. So that's cool. There's obviously a kinship, too, with being retired teachers. You teach in five states? I don't know even, what are you running from? <laughs> I married a husband who was a traveling salesman. Ah, now we also do want to reference your home ec teacher, which I'm very sad doesn't even, it's not a thing anymore. Why, how? Well, we put a big emphasis on the solid subjects, the ones that are on the SATs. <laughs> But, I, you know, the home ec things, I taught the cooking and sewing uh -huh. with foods and nutrition. That's how I know how to do it still. It's <laughs> right. yeah. I, I, wow. There'll be some of your audience out there now that will remember Mrs. Mrs. Krauss wow. from class. And that, they were so much fun, just the stuff that happened with the boys. <laughs> well, you also know how to read and write and talk, don't you? Yes. Yeah, that's what I told <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was you. I see. Okay. You covered us. I was getting all the glory there. She can't handle that. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us and teaching us a lesson about friendship at any age, in any stage in our life. Well, this is just an incredible gift. <laughs> it really is. It's been so much. Thanks for sharing it with us here on Take 5. Uh, more to come. We're, we're in the middle of happy hour. We're kind of yeah. crashing the party. More to come. <laughs>